Hello everybody, uh, this is Animation Tutorials here and I'm going with my first ever video on YouTube. So, hello everybody, um, this is my first ever video and I'm going to do a Pivot tutorial. So, Pivot is an animation software and it's a basic software that loads of animators would start with. It doesn't have a lot of hard concepts in it and today all I'm going to do is help you and I'm going to show you some basic things in Pivot uh, to start you off. So the first thing is in up here you have your controls and this is what you'll use to do things so obviously here is where your this is everything you have so if you were to have um, a frame in which I'll go over in a second um, your stick figure would come up and it would be here however if my stick figure was over here and I had a frame it would not be in so this white area is basically everywhere the stick figure wherever the stick if the stick figure is in here then it will be features in featured in the animation all right well now I could get that mouthful down this up here is your frame um, gallery basically it will show you all your frames so if you click here you could edit a frame um, and then over here you have help because you know you might want help edit this is to undo moves redo select all figures duplicate figures and options here this is just the width and the height and onion skins language stuff like that but i'll go over the width and the height and the onion skins um in the next episode so here is a file and this is where you can get new animation open animation save animation save animation as blah 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 blah, blah. um the thing you should probably focus on is load figure type create figure type new open animation save animation save animation as that's kind of it for you guys at the moment um and down here we have stuff here so i'm gonna go from the bottom to the top because i can so down here you have add frame so if i put the stick figure here add frame add frame add frame add frame add frame and if i put him away the stick figure's not there in the frames um up here you can if you select a figure you can make the size bigger so i could either use the arrows to make him bigger or smaller or i could just go and make him smaller by typing or bigger by typing and if you want to exaggerate you can go and make him really big but i'm just going to keep him down here normal size and I'm gonna go to the next thing. Now, this here is the copy button, so I can copy this stick figure. I can move it down here, I can paste it. And there you go, there's another stick figure. So, if I add a frame, I now have two stick figures in the animation. Um, these you don't really need to worry about. This is just to make more things in the figure. Um, so, like here, I could just click that and now I can join the figure. <laughs> it's not really that interesting, to be honest. It's kind of a bit creepy. But, yeah. So, here you have, you can make your figure different colours. So, I could make it a green, a red, a pink, or I could make it grey. And now it's a different figure i can add frames and you can see it's different um here you can flip the figure so it's different which probably won't work unless you do something like if i quickly make it into get a running pose then you can see it can flip so there there it's been flipped around here you can just center the figure um and center it and now add frame and it's centered up here is the edit figure type which is here 
and you can edit the figure type, you can do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, I will go into the stuff with edit figure type in the next video as well, so you can learn about what sort of things you do with it and how to edit your figure. Um, and then you have delete, which is very clear. It's gone. You delete it. Um, up here, you can add figure, which is probably you want to go on there you can add as many as you want you can add two you can add three you can add as many as you want you can add a million if you really re <laughs> you really want it to um so yeah that's kind of uh it for that um up here is the background which is you can set a background you haven't loaded a background, so you can't really do that. Um, up here, you have the play stuff. So this is how you'll play your animation. So if I go right back to the start, you can press this to loop it, uh, which basically means it will play again and again and again and again and again until you press stop, which is here, and obviously that stops. This is play, so if I press play, you'll see the animation. It's not really an animation because it's just what I've showed you. Um, I press stop. And then here is the frame rate so fps basically and it's how many frames per second this is six frame 6.7 frames per second but you can go up to 33.3 .3. so if i show you you can see it's doing stuff like that uh if i move it up a bit it's doing things a bit quicker and then i can go up to the thing and it's really really quick you don't really use 33 a lot um for when you start animation you probably won't need to use that much uh, you probably will go down to this sort of speed, or maybe up to, like, um, 12 frames. Um, so I'll stop that now. Uh, here, if you don't want to loop it, and but you want it to repeat, so I'll make it repeat four times, it will repeat four times, basically. You get what I mean. Uh... This is how much frames you, well, this is what frame you're on, and if I click on a frame, what frame? That was, and then you can go and edit it, so you could put the figure in there, and the frame, and now it's completely different, because that stick was, stick figure is there, instead of over there. Here you can go, uh, and delete the frame, you sure you want to delete it? Yes, you've deleted it. Um, when here is just, you can copy the frame. And then you can paste the frame. And it will go up here. Or you can put it down anywhere you want. So that is kind of it. But I just want to show you something quite quickly. On what sort of things you can do. So I'm going to open an, anima an animation. Um, and I'm only going to show you the ones that are already loaded on. Because I don't want to show you things that I've made. Because one it's mine and it's private. And two you know yeah you can save it if you want i'm not going to because it's not an animation this is one of the ones that's loaded onto it um you can see it it's a sick man doing a flip which is really really good and if you did it again but put it down slow you can see again it's slower it's not as slow as you know really really slow but it's it's slow compared to that so there's that sort of animation or you could do stuff like this um and you yeah it's like this and there's a cursor and it gets the stick man and it's animating it just like a normal cursor does um but this time the stick figure kind of doesn't want it to do it so it will basically um kick it away now you may be asking how is the cursor there because if you look when you load a figure type, ignore how much I've got. I've got loads because I've used a website called Droids, which I will be going over in the next episode as well. Um, and that's where you can get things like, instead of a, if I go for a new one, instead of these stick men, these stick men, you can go and I can open it. Um, and I can get this guy... And I can get him with, uh, 
an AK-47. Obviously, these, this is pretty big, but as I said earlier, you can size it so I can make it smaller. Probably not that small, maybe a bit bigger. Still a bit overpowered, but you get what I mean. Uh, and you can animate it. So there is an animation I guess I can show you. Um, this is kind of what I made. Um, and it's a stick figure flipping over a bullet. So this. This is kind of one of my first animations, so it does look a bit weird. Um, it's still pretty good, um, and that's it. So you can make things like that. This was from um, uh, this was from Droid. This figure here. So was the other figure here, because it has toes. The other one doesn't. You can actually go here. You can edit these stick figures, and you can give them toes. You just have to make sure you can do it probably but again i will go over that in the next episode so you don't have to worry but that was kind of it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it this is again another animation from that's already there um, and you can watch these and you can see how they work and you can see and you can take your ideas see how they work and things like that um, to create your own so that was it I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you it helps you with pivot a bit more I will be doing videos every single week so next week I will have the next video to pivot um, keep on animating it can be frustrating at the start you could but it will get better. Um, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.